Hi guys, so I just wanted to come and share something before election day or better yet selection day is over. Um, I wanted to just come and share what God has shared with me. And um, I really hope that my brothers and sisters in the faith are just understanding like the time period that we're in, what's going on, and just to be sober and continue to be vigilant. So basically what God shared with me is the same way that Israel sought for a king like the other nations is the same way we today seek for a ruler in the free world, um, which, you know, we know as the United States of America, um, this has been something that has been in motion for generations and generations where a leader is selected to rule over this nation. And this started back ages ago, even with the children of Israel. And they looked at other nations and wanted a judge or wanted a king to be placed above them. They demanded from Samuel, um, if you can, you can read that in 1 Samuel chapter 8, but they demanded that there be a king over them. And this really hurt God, the fact that they desired to have man over, over God. Like he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And for his creation to desire man's rulership over them rather than him being that sovereign God that he is, a sovereign Lord, the sovereign king that he is over our lives, that hurt God. And actually, it says that they weren't reject. Like Samuel was hurt because they thought that they were rejecting him. But it wasn't that they were rejecting him. It's that the children of Israel were rejecting God. This is the same for our nation right now. We're wondering why things are the way they are. We're wondering why the world is in turmoil. We're wondering why everything is just turned to crap. The nation has turned its back against God. The world has turned its back against God, which the world, of course, doesn't know God. But the children of God have turned their backs against their king. And this is the, the effect of that. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from your wicked ways. Then he will hear our voices. He will hear our prayers, our cries. As long as we turn our backs from the things that hurt our father. He wants to heal the land. He wants to, but we have to make him king, the king of our lives. That's all. Be blessed.